We're gonna attempt Bob Ross's evening's piece. That's gonna serve to form some kind of scenery for our cathedral window backing panel. After all, if you have a full window, well, you kinda need a scene to look out upon, right? I'm Rachel DeBarros and thanks for watching Gearhead Diva. I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit apprehensive about this. Worst case scenario, maybe I'm not a Bob Ross. Maybe I'm more like his lesser known cousin. Ross Bob. So we'll find out by the end of this stream. The idea with our backing panel here is to somehow display the lightning bolt when the lightning detector detects, you know, that lightning is close by. I want to concentrate just on the sky, moon, and clouds portion. I thought, wouldn't it be cool instead of painting a flat type of picture, somehow make this 3D? My absolute favorite Frankenstein movie, other than the original black and white, is Young Frankenstein. I'm a huge Mel Brooks fan. After all, this is a Frankenstein inspired mega build that this is turning into. So looking at this castle, it's pretty much the same castle that was used in the old uh, black and white movie. Although Young Frankenstein is also black and white too. First things first, let's channel our inner peace. He's just got a way of talking like this that just like, ah, brings you down. Unlike me where I'm like, guys, let's do this, hurry. Oh my gosh, if this is sucking. Oh, this is great, it turned around. And what does he say? There are no mistakes. There are only happy little surprises. So we're gonna put that to the test right now and see if that's really the deal. What he did was mix black and phthalow or pathat, you know, it's got a P in front of it, P-T-H, phthalow blue. So right now this looks black, but it's not. It's actually a mixture of black and a little bit of this blue. So in this first scene, he's starting with kind of a stormy cloud situation. And the reason the paint looks blue is because the base is already blue. So I'm gonna put a little titanium white. Now you must pronounce the H's with the whites because that's what he does. Now guys, this is the hardest part is getting started. And we're gonna make crisscross shapes. This is terrifying, very terrifying, okay? And then he just went like that. Wow, that looks really white, guys. Uh-oh. Let's see if maybe we spread it. Oh, look, it's, it's turning a little bit blue. And working it, and he basically works it till there's like no more paint on the brush. And that is the way it eventually ends up looking. And mine looks nothing <laughs> like that. Oh no. The one thing we're probably not gonna get as much is the blending that Bob Ross gets. It's kind of looking stormy, guys. I think I'm at least at a Ross Bob level, you know, his lesser known cousin. Maybe there's something to be said about Bob Ross's philosophy in that there are no, I just, I was about to say there are no mistakes and look at that. Ooh, that's not like fading at all. I just botched that. Let's see if we can turn it into a happy surprise. There are no mistakes. There's, oh, it's getting worse. Okay, we're just gonna go. Because the idea is that most of this will be covered anyways with our shrubbery. A shrubbery. It's looking kind of, kind of stormy out there. So he paints a moon with his finger. All right, let's attempt the moon painting. I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. It's gonna be kind of like that. And we got some uh, texture to deal with here, but I think, oh, that's nice. I think I'm gonna make this moon kind of, not huge, but like medium size, like noticeable. What's next for, oh, I think the clouds are coming up next. Oh dear. And now we are clouding it up. I thought some of this other stuff was the hardest part, but I think this is, I changed my mind. This is like for real the hardest part. See, just like Bob Ross, my little fan brush. And then he just, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it looks like a snake. This is a, a snake <laughs> cloud. Here, he made it more like, <laughs> uh, let's see if we can imitate. I 
hate to say I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. And it's not, I hate to say, I'm actually very happy to say, no wonder people love Bob Ross. And maybe he's got a little friend that branches out kind of like over here. You know, every cloud needs a little, little friend. This is, uh, you know, it's looking pretty stormy right there. And uh, this actually, this cloud over here looks like a bird. <laughs> it's a bird. And he goes just kind of on the top of the cloud. So I'm gonna try that with the same squiggly motions. <sighs> this looks like it's not gonna work, but okay. Okay, Bob Ross, I am putting my, I am putting my trust in you. It looks very baby blue. with my fingers kind of try and blend it, you know, just a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, too much excitement there. So I like how we like are doing our test run on the actual piece, you know, instead of a, a piece of cardboard. Go me. <laughs> but listen, sometimes you just gotta go for it. I would say that's, that's cloud-like. So I'm trying to remember to keep my whites, you know, as if the cloud or the moon is shining on it. And clouds are kind of multi-dimensional. So there's different layers and every layer, the little top portion has a little bit of light there. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Look at that. We got another little cloud. So I'm just adding this blue to the bottoms or attempting to add them to the bottoms of my wisps here. I think I'm gonna start in the middle and kind of do this and then do that. Our storm cloud is gonna be here. It's gonna be pulsing with light when we sense a lightning and then our bolt is gonna come down and hit our castle. Unlike Bob Ross, I am not going to be assigning this just yet. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. <sighs> Eh. Oh, guys, I think it's it's gonna look pretty good. And I'm almost tempted to add another happy little cloud. You can't get too many happy little clouds. And I think our castle down here is gonna look great. So this was a good first attempt, I think. And I'm quite happy with it. Thanks a lot for joining me. And we're gonna tackle this 3D model next, guys. Whew.